Community engagement at the Sexual Assault Center and support for the work that we do is integral to how we operate. So having an organization with historical connections to the community like the United Way uh, goes a long way, not just for keeping our services in operation, but for keeping those community connections alive. Our partnership with United Way is incredibly important and it's spanned across a fair number of years in our organization, across different types of programming, but specifically for this programming crisis counseling, it's incredibly important because we're seeing such a high need and demand in our communities for that support of people in crisis. One example I can provide is, think of a university student, they've experienced a sexualized assault, uh, they've been living with that and trying to figure out what to do, and they reach out to us and they connect with one of our crisis counselors. That moment that they come and see us, that's already a success because they're reaching out for help. It gives them a lifeline. It gives them some structure to think about how they might move through this moment. We know from aggregate data across Canada that one in four people who identify as women identify sexualized violence in their lifetime, but also people who identify as men report that amount of violence in their lifetime. For people who are indigenous or two-spirit, they can be up to, you know, one in two people can experience in their lifetime. Uh, people who identify under the transgender umbrella are you know, one out of two people report experiencing sexualized violence in their lifetime. But that's also the people who are reporting. And we know that um, there's also people who are not sharing that information. One of the amazing things that we're able to do when we're able to be responsive to immediate needs is help with the immediate symptoms following sexualized violence. Um, so help calm those symptoms, both physical symptoms. Often people think that sexualized violence will give people mental health issues over time, but mental health issues and physical issues are very much connected. So we help dispel some of those myths and help survivors learn how to calm their nervous systems in the face of distress. So a lot of those, a lot of that work where we see some really big changes are when we're able to address stigma of sexualized violence directly and able to reduce shame. So a lot of crisis work is really shoring up survivors' own resistance to the violence, as well as reducing the shame of the experience. Those two things alone can be incredibly shifting and changing for a survivor's experience. We have incredible gratitude here at BSAC for United Way donors. One of the pieces of funding that we receive from you currently is about funding crisis counselor hours. It's contributing to a whole position and so that we can meet the needs of people in our community. If we didn't have that funding, we would be seeing less people or seeing them at a much slower rate, which we know it's so important to see people as immediately as possible so that folks know that they are believed, they are seen, and there is help for them. So just a huge thank you to all the donors for supporting this type of service.